one or two of our clients dumb enough to get mixed up in anything like that. <laughs> Mr. Griffin? No. No, not Mr. Griffin. Well, you see, George, this poor fellow's always thought of himself as a sort of charming playboy. He'd like to stay that way. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Old Mr. Barker. Well, what has the numbskull done? Written the girl some letters? No, no letters. That's one thing the numbskull missed. He just, he just asked a girl to marry him. And... Well, uh, was there a witness to the nitwit's proposal? I said, uh, was there a witness? I'm counting. <laughs> Thirty-five. <laughs> Thirty-five? Well, it's an uneven number because it was at a party. And one fellow didn't have a date. I wish it had been me. <laughs> oh, 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 no. 35 witnesses. Why, he had a bigger audience than some television shows. <laughs> well, we have no legal case. The man's as good as married. George, there must be some way out. Harry, I can tell you, with 35 witnesses, Barker is signed, sealed, and delivered to that ball and chain. It wasn't Mr. Barker. Well, it had to be Barker. Or Griffin. Who else do we know that's that stupid? <laughs> you? <laughs> Harry, that's terrific. That's sensational. At last, at long last, some little red riding hood has bitten the wolf. <laughs> Who's the girl? Linda. <laughs> Linda. Linda. <laughs> Not my secretary. <laughs> Harry, you can't do this to me. Linda's the best secretary I've ever had. She used to be the best secretary you ever had. I don't want my wife to work. <laughs> Hazel, will you please answer the door? <laughs> Is she softened up? Uh, uh, why don't you take a, another walk around the block? Uh, I tell you what, why don't you walk around that block there? It's bigger. <laughs> Absolutely nothing to do with Phil. How much do you want to bet? You got mad at Phil and you wanted to hurt him, so you accepted Mr. Knoll's proposal. But I wasn't even thinking of Phil. It, it was the excitement, everyone urging us to get married, and, and I just got carried away with it and said yes. And now I don't know how to get out of it. Oh, well, all you got to do is to just tell him you changed your mind. And if there was a law against women changing their minds, we'd all be in jail. It's not that I don't like him. I, I do. I'm really quite fond of him. But you don't love him. No. And you don't want to marry him. No. Well, then all you got to do is just tell him you've been considering the pros and cons, and the cons won. Just tell him that you're very honored that he offered himself and in his name but that you've decided to be an old maid. <laughs> an old maid? Oh, but who said anything about being an old maid? Well, you don't want to marry Phil, and you don't want to marry Mr. Noel. That's the way you're heading. But if we was to consider all of Phil's good points, maybe we could make out a case for him. No, I've... I've asked to Mr. Noel, and, and he's deliriously in love with me. I... I just couldn't hurt him. <laughs> Frankly, George, I expected a more constructive attitude from you. Really? Yes. I expected you to figure some way to get me out of this jam. Harry, that's what I like about you. The friendly, ungrudging way you share your hot potatoes with me. <laughs> George, you know I don't want to get married. At least not until I'm a little older. I want to have some fun out of life while I'm still young. I don't want you to get married either. I don't want to give up the best secretary I've ever had. George, you don't understand the urgency of this. We told everybody we were going to be married today, this morning. Linda's sitting at home right now, waiting for me to call her and take her to the license bureau. She isn't sitting at home. She's in the kitchen with Hazel. She, she's here? Yes. Come on, we'll have a little talk with her. She, she's here? Harry, will you stop dragging your feet? I'm not dragging my feet. I just happen to have weak knees. <laughs> I'll sit down and massage them. You go talk to her. <laughs> All right, you sit here and I'll bring her here. Must you? Harry, I'm going to help you wiggle out of this for my own sake. It's simply a matter of giving her reasons why she shouldn't marry you. And offhand, I can think of ten million. 